Okay, you guys, so it's date night. You're gonna be out all day. Okay, this is like a date day. So what we wanna do is smell delectable, but we want the scent to last. So that is what this video is going to be all about. And I'm also going to introduce to you some of my favorite layering combos that will make you literally the most edible person on earth. So if that is your goal, let's get into it. Okay, so first, before we start spraying any type of a fragrance on the skin, we've got to start this smell good process in the shower, okay? The one thing that I would suggest doing is getting you a pair of these, okay? Shower gloves that exfoliate. The more dead skin you can get off of the surface of that body, the better your fragrance is going to adhere to the skin surface, okay? So in the shower, what you want to do is you don't have to necessarily have all of the, um, the body gels, shower gels and all that stuff that goes with your specific perfume because that can get really expensive. What you wanna do is you want to find just a few catch-alls, okay? A very sweet vanilla scent or something with rose or um, just, you know, something that will pair with most of your fragrances. So if you're a floral lady and you love your florals, half the things in your collection, you know, may have a rose or a jasmine, just get a good rose scented shower gel. Okay, so today, for example, this is what I used in the shower with my exfoliating gloves. This is from the aromatherapy line at Bath & Body Works, and this is called Love. And this is just a very simple rose and vanilla scent. It is gorgeous, okay? The smell is so lovely, therapeutic in the shower. The scent is gorgeous, but it's very light, and it's just gonna give you a good coat of smell good, okay? But before you get out, please get you a body conditioner. This is the one that I love. The lights are so bright you can barely see. I love this in, in shower body conditioner. And so what you do after you rinse all the soap and everything off, you just go back in with this with just your bare hands without the gloves. Go back in with this all over the body. And this is just a good layer of sweet that you're putting down with this, okay? This is going to have you moisturized from head to toe before you even step out, before you even apply the first cream or lotion. This is good stuff. Once you get out, pat yourself dry, okay? Don't keep going over the skin so there's literally no water, no moisture, nowhere left on your skin. That is not the goal. <laughs> you just don't wanna be soaking wet, okay? So once you get out, figure out the exposed areas of the body. That is where we want to spray. We don't want to spray everywhere, okay, and then put clothes on top of it, no. <laughs> Say you're just gonna have your arms and legs out, that's where we'll start. Now, what I have today is an amazing gourmand combo. First, we're gonna go in with Chevador by House of Siage. This is raspberry, wild strawberry, rose, vanilla okay beautiful beautiful scent on its own but we're trying to be extra delicious right so what we're gonna do is pair this with something that will go together in real life you think strawberries hello chocolate <laughs> chocolate greedy by montel paris you guys <laughs> these two together are absolutely delicious okay so this one is going to be like a powdery chocolate scent. So you've got vanilla, you've got bitter orange, and you've got this beautiful base of tonka bean coffee, very light coffee, you can barely smell it. And you've got um, like a, a powdery cacao, chocolate cocoa, okay? This is this wonderful chocolate bomb. And if you don't have a chocolate in your collection of some kind, and you're a go on lover, you're missing out because it pairs so well with so many of your other fragrances. So these two together, amazing. 
And I also love pairing this with Tom Ford's Lost Cherry. Now, I don't know if you've seen the video that I have on Lost Cherry. I'm not the biggest fan of Lost Cherry. Okay, let's just, let's just be clear about that. But it layers beautifully with quite a few things in my collection. So that is what I've been using this little decant for. It's more so to layer with other scents. That, I do love it for that, okay? So you gotta think, chocolates, cherries, hello, they just go together. They go together so well, okay? Now, now once we've done an initial spray of both, always go in with your heavier scent first. So I did the chocolates greedy first, and then I layered on top the cheval d'or, okay? Once you've done that, let that dry down for a bit, okay? Then you're gonna go in with a good body cream, okay? Go in and lock that scent down on the skin. That's what that is going to do. Then you go back in with a little bit of use from cream on your hot pulse points, okay? So here, here, if your legs are gonna be out behind the knees, what you wanna do is put this in the areas that are gonna heat up. This is going to help lock in the scent. Go back in, okay? <laughs> and you spray good pulse points again. So you're layering the moisture and you're layering the scent. Now, once you've gotten all dressed, you're gonna go back in lightly with your heavier scent. And then you're going to go a little heavier with that second fragrance, that lighter, less complex scent on top of that, okay? So what you're getting is this beautiful layering of delicious scents, and this is going to last you for quite a few hours. You can always decant your fragrances and take them with you. But honestly, when you're on a date, you're not gonna be thinking every two hours, okay, let me go, let me go top off, let me go get my decant. Let's make sure you have this scent down before we even leave the house. Take your decants, you know, just in case, but this is going to ensure that your scent is longer lasting no matter what the scent is. Okay, so let's get into some more of these juicy combinations, all right? Now that we've got the layering 101 out of the way. Another combination that I have been really enjoying is also Lost Cherry with Baccarat Rouge. This is Gourmand Elevated, okay? So you have got two beautiful luxury fragrances that pair beautifully. You're going to get compliments galore off of these, these two right here together. Now, Baccarat Rouge goes so, so, so well with so many scents because this is primarily a vanilla sugar scent. You've got some woods in there. You've got, you know, your, your saffron, but it is heavy on the vanilla sugar. So what, 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 what does that not go with in the food world, in the gourmand world? Hardly nothing. So this pairs great. If you need something to layer, this is a go-to, Baccarat Rouge, okay? And the other thing that I have to suggest everyone get in their wardrobe if they don't have it is definitely K Ali Vanilla 28. Again, it goes so well with so many things because it's vanilla. It's vanilla or brown sugar, tonka bean. That's what you're getting in this fragrance. If you don't want to, this is a hefty penny right here, okay? So if you don't want to use this for layering, you want to conserve your, your Baccarat Rouge 540, I get it. Get this in your wardrobe as well because these two are the layering goddesses, okay? Okay, so the next fragrance that I love to put on when I want to smell like a snack, honey, is Princess by Killian. I don't know what it is about this, but this is such an addictive scent to me. This is matcha green tea, okay? With a little spice from ginger. And you've got this on a fluffy bed of marshmallows. You guys, this is just, it's just it's one of my favorite warm gourmand scents. It is absolutely scrumptious. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> It is so delicious. Um, now this is exclusive to Sephora 
and it is ooh, it's always sold out quite a lot so when you can get your hands on it get your hands on it who knows when these will be discontinued because like i said it's exclusive to sephora highly recommend it because it is just such a delicious fragrance when people smell this they're going to want to bite you okay delicious okay so for the woman or i'm sorry anyone who loves a good sweet floral this is bon bon by victor and roth now to me this scent can get a little designery because it's a designer fragrance i get it i don't have too many designer fragrances in my collection but for me this is just a very sweet floral okay so you've got your mandarin you've got orange blossom you've got amber you've got the sandalwood mm, and you've got a little bit of peach so to me when i layer this with philosophies fresh cream warm cashmere i have a little mini here this takes it full gourmand to me when I, so when I smell this alone, I'm getting more of a very sweet floral. This doesn't put me necessarily in the mind of a gourmand and edible because I don't pick up a lot on that caramel getting is those orange notes with the jasmine and a little bit of the woods in the base. When you put this with it, this fresh cream warm cashmere, oh, honey, we're talking about a whole snack. So Fresh Cream Warm Cashmere by Philosophy is going to give you this beautiful vanilla cashmere musk scent. And when these notes combine, what you're getting is just a big caramel, um, almost like a caramelized sugar bomb. This is so gorgeous and i really wish that philosophy would quit playing around with these toilets and give us an edp of this and the original fresh cream because they are so beautiful um and they they pair and layer so well with so many fragrances in my collection now fresh cream i have a bigger bottle of um and you guys i have not had it too long and i mean i just I use it so much. It's really become a layering staple. Now, Fresh Cream, the original, is going to be like a heliotrope cream sugary scent. It is so delicious on its own, but I love pairing this with things like Delena. It takes some of that bite out of the original Delena, and it just, woo, I mean, the creaminess is like on a level 10 once you pair those together. Definitely something I would consider as well getting into your wardrobe if you don't have it, just as a beautiful layering accent to what you already have. These layering uh, perfumes, they're cheaper um, and they just add so much to any fragrance. They really, really do. A lot of the times you're smelling a fragrance and you're like, something is missing. Honey, it's not a lot of fragrances that can't use a little bit of vanilla, a little bit of sugar, a little bit of creaminess and that is where things like this come into play, okay? It's going to take the, the snackness, the snackiness of it all <laughs> and elevate it through the roof. This combination that we have is going to be this beauty right here on its own. You guys, I mean, I really thought this was going to be just something hyped up because like I said, I don't have a lot of designer fragrances. I'm a niche girl, but this? This pair, mm. oh shit, <laughs> I didn't do that. This LaBelle by Jean Paul Gaultier, this pair and this vanilla and this vetiver combination, it is absolutely to die for, okay? Child, there ain't a man alive that don't wanna smell this on a woman, I'm telling you right now. But do you want to elevate your gourmand game? Yes, you do. And you want to pair to bits by Tiziana Terenzi with LaBelle. And let me tell you why. To bits have so many delicious, scrumptious fruits, but it's also got like um, these beautiful notes of a warm sand. 
you've got the vanilla and you've got a cotton candy note in here. So this is a beautiful fruity floral fragrance, but when you pair it with this, it also has a prominent pear note, okay? It is also very sweet. So when you put these together, they just create something magical. They are beautiful on their own and I love them on their own. But when you put them together, this is edible perfection. It is an amazing combination and I really want you to try these together. Okay, if there are any guys watching, I did not forget about you. You too can be a snack. <laughs> And one that I'm gonna put out is, I would say more so for the spring and summer, just because of the notes. But I personally wouldn't mind smelling this on a guy year round. And this is going to be Lamar by Kajal. This is a gorgeous pineapple scent, but the base is you've got all these wonderful woods. You've got I think a cedar wood, maybe a sandalwood. I mean, it's it's a woody fragrance. So guys, it's unisex, but I feel like more so men wear this. I wear it, but it smells absolutely amazing on a man as well. And this, the women will be after you, okay? This scent trail right here, this siage, oh please, edible, okay? edible this is so amazing for men i highly recommend this one okay now the next one that i have is going to also be from tiziana terenzi this i have a decant of kirk and the only reason i don't have a full bottle of this is because i also have the full bottle of orza to me they're just this beautiful like uh fruit bombs um, but they're just a little two in the same family um, for me to want both in my collection. But I definitely love having this decant around of Kirk. Now this is going to be a passion fruit, peach, pear, um, musky vanilla scent. It's got a little uh, Lily of the Valley in there. I think a heliotrope. So the way this is blended, it's just absolutely divine. This is a gorgeous fruit bomb, and this is also a unisex scent. Now for Kirk, what I like to do, mm, so beautiful, is I like to actually pair this with Philosophy Fresh Cream because it's also got the heliotrope in here. So they pair very nicely, and it's just gonna add Mm, a little bit more of a creaminess to the Kirk scent. Yeah, these, these pair beautifully together. Um, this really smooths out the fragrance because Kirk has got a lot of bite to it. Beautiful, beautiful scent. These layer so well. All right, you guys, so that is our video on how to smell like a snack. Get to layering some of these scents, okay? It's one thing to have you a gourmand, but I feel like you really take things to the next level when you're adding your own layers and complexity to some of these scents. It's just going to make you that much more scrumptious, that much more edible. Please drop it in the comments below. Let me know some of your favorite fragrances to wear that just really make you feel like a snack. I need to know. Okay, so what we are doing all 2021 is elevating our gourmand game and we are just going to smell scrumptious, period, point blank. All right, so that is the video for today. I hope that you have enjoyed the content. If so, definitely give the video a big thumbs up and I will see you on the next one.